Hey guys, it's Austin Mayer and this is our second lesson. Today we're gonna create some breakdown instruments like plug sounds and basses. One of them is straight bass line and one of them is short bass line. As you can see we already prepared some MIDI files to save the time. Here we go. They follow the same harmony as this beautiful piano we create in the first lesson. And um, everything is pretty much the same, so that will sound great. First, we're gonna start with the plug sound, and we will use our Anna, our favorite Anna. Okay, we're gonna loop eight bars. We're gonna loop the eight bars here and let them play. Now everything is initized. That means it goes about the sound design. Disable the retrick button. Then we move to the waveform and select between soul waves. As you can see, we get different cell waves here. I think this one sounds pretty much smooth. Voice amount up to three or more voices. And then make a detune. Then adjust the amp envelope. Okay, then adjust the detune once again. And then make it wider. But hold on. First you adjust the detune and only then make it wider because when you adjust the detune hearing in stereo that may cause some uh, phase interferences, phase conflicts. Every sound we're making should sound great in mono and in stereo. Okay, let's make a filter. I think we're gonna choose a four pole vintage filter. Then we send all this to the envelope.
So as you can see, this envelope knob here means that it's controls it's controlled by this envelope. global cutoff knob, we're going to automate it. Yes, but next we come up with a noise. There are also different types of noises here, different waveforms. Again, after I've adjusted the detune, I gotta control this in mono. So that was all with this uh, plug synth. I think I'm not gonna use the the internal effects. Now we're gonna process it. First we'll start with the queuing. A low cut. 24. For the high cut you may use 12 or 24 or even 18 okay after that we have to cut off Useless frequencies here. I think it's enough. And then saturate. We 
warm tube. As you can see, we are trying to choose between those two algorithms, warm tape and warm tube. We're gonna swap the inserts. Nice, let's automate it. Step, disable DR, and go to show used automation for a selected track. And here we are, that's our automation. We're gonna draw it. So it comes up smoothly and then down. This one sounds more aggressive, I would say. But hold on, you gotta always watch up on this knob. Watch out the levels. So it's not allowed to get overshots here to avoid any clicks and overdrive and distortion, some kind of.
let's try to switch to the classic mode. So as you can see, we usually love to use this uh, dry mix knob here on this uh, Pro-C compressor. Let's try to put a DUA. Thank you. 
How about to put a DOA before compressor? Sounds much more better. Now let me show you the difference between the replica and the dub station delay. As you can hear, <clears throat> this one sounds uh, more analog, but it's mono. So there is no uh, special stereo effects, no ping pong effects, no everything, just mono delay, which, which simply duplicates and filters the original signal. If the signal is in stereo, it just duplicates the stereo signals, but if the signal is in mono, it duplicates mono signals. So in this case, we're going to use the replica delay. We think it's done.